Vivek, you were the first guy to put your chips on the table, you know, uh, walk where no man had walked before. What were you thinking? I mean, how do you um, now uh, sort of be the voice of big screen actors who are willing to take the jump and, uh, you know, actually put themselves out for a good 80 to 100 days to do a series? Uh, are actors also looking at it as a sort of a reduction in stardom or are they re looking to reach out to a more global audience that maybe a film can't take you to? So I think uh, maybe that's a really interesting question. For me, the career choices I've made, whether it's debuting, even, I'm, even though I'm second generation, not getting my daddy to produce you know, a launch pad movie for me. Look, my son, how much I dance, 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 how much I dance. I decided to jump into the fray with a film like Company and wanted to be taken seriously as an actor. So at that time also I was told the same thing. I was told that this is Harakiri. You know, you're going to destroy the opportunity that you had. You should have done the Abbas Mustan film. You know, your father was producing. But it panned out okay. So when Inside Edge came to me and, and I loved the idea, I loved the concept. I thought it was revolutionary, it was path breaking. And a lot of advisors told me again, nahi yaar, mat karo, you know, you're making a big mistake, uh, you know, reduction in stardom and all those kind of fundas. But I took a calculated risk mini because I calculated a simple thing. I said that even with all the multiplexes set up today, um, you have a statistic which tells all that two to two and a half crore people across India actually go out to the theaters and watch movies. We're so below saturation in terms of the infrastructure to allow people to go out there and see a movie. So here you have a comparative when you say how many people are holding smartphones up right now in the audience there or checking as we speak. Uh, there are 40 crore people with smartphones in the country already and growing really rapidly. So I have now access to a distribution medium for my content that can penetrate 40 crores versus an infrastructure that can just give me 2.5 crores of access. Why wouldn't I choose that? Why wouldn't I want to leverage that? It liberates me from the whole, you know, Pehlaj uh, Nihilani type of, you know, censorship issues. It, it liberates me from having to grovel in front of, uh, you know, a, a, a multiplex chain saying, yaar, please, yaar, dopair ka show, mat do, subay ka show mein koi nahi aega, yaar, sham ka show de do. It liberates me from all of that. And now it's appointment viewing, right? So I've, I've, I've convinced you, inside edge, dekho. And then you decide, main raat ke teen baje dekhunga. I will see you in the bus, I will see you in the train, I will see you in the car, I will see you alone, I will see you with friends. So it redefines and it breaks this whole structure which we have been struggling to conform with. You know, a structure where as a film industry person I feel frustrated that you know when I go to a theatre guy, he says that I will not invest in your picture, I will not invest in your loss, but for every ticket sold, I am going to take 50% of your revenue. And I won't share canteen revenues with you. The footfall that you bring True. when you do a Bajrangi Bhaijan and you have you know, so many people coming in and buying popcorn and samosas, I see no, no, no money out of that collection. So it kind of makes it very democratic. It, it levels the playing field and makes it fair. And I think that's the future of, of cinema. It